Hello, this is Vince with Article Marketing Robot. In this video, I am going to show you the pinger. So I'll get right to it. Uh, we have a couple tabs up here. Uh, the AMR tab, scrape and ping. So I'll click into the ping tab and this is what you'll see when you first start the software with the blank pinger. Uh, first thing you're going to want to do is get some ping servers entered into the software. So click the ping servers button. You'll notice that there's nothing here right now. So what you can do is you can either do a Google search for ping servers or you can use the default ping server list here. Just click that and that will open up this window with some ping servers for you to copy and paste. To add them just click add and control V to paste. Click OK and they'll get added. After you add ping servers you can test them and AMR will test the ping servers. It doesn't take very long. So we'll just wait for this to complete. And we're done. So we got 54 success and two failed. I'll refresh the site list. It's going to ask if I want to save. I'll click yes. So here's all our ping servers. Now if you wanted to delete a few or all or whatever, you can highlight one or more and click the delete button and that'll get rid of the ping servers for you. So that is how you add ping servers. So I'll just close out of that. Now the next thing you want to do is ping your URLs. Now the main purpose of pinging is to notify different uh, search engines and uh, servers that your URL exists. In this case I guess it would be your articles. So what you do is you notify them through sending a ping request to that server and it will come back and take a look at the URL. So you can add URLs in one of two ways. You can do it through the interface here where it's add URLs or you can do it through the site list. First I'll show you add URLs click that button and then you come to this box um, and in here there's a few different ways you can add URLs. I'll do, I'll do two examples. So let's say we wanted to do google.com that's your URL and you wanted to give it a description. You could say uh, search for USA and then you wanted to do another uh, URL google.ca but let's say you didn't have a description up here, you could put one down here and you say search for Canada. Now this box would apply to all URLs that don't have a description, like a comma delimited description attached to it. So um, in that case this field is also spinnable. So you could say different things about different URLs. So that's kind of how that works. Um, when you have that done, click OK. And they will get added. So you'll see that the URLs, you'll see uh, Search for USA and the, and the different things going on here. Now, the next thing that happens is the ping server starts up. And it starts it humming along, uh, doing its pinging. You can stop it by clicking the Stop button. And you can resume it by clicking the resume button. Okay, so that's how you add ping servers, or sorry, um, URLs to the ping servers. Um, you can refresh your site list to find out what's pinged and what's not. Now the second way is to add them from your live links list. So if you have a ton of live links that you want to send uh, over to the ping servers, uh, highlight by submitted, and then you can highlight, you know, a bunch, all, whatever, however many you want and then click this button here. It's a P with an arrow on it. It says, uh, well, the you won't be able to see this uh, tooltip text, but it says send highlighted live links to Pinger. So click that button, and then that's it. That's all you got to do. Come over to Ping, refresh the list. You don't have to refresh the list. It, it, it doesn't need to be refreshed, but you can refresh it to see what's going on, and you'll see that all these URLs are now sitting with the uh, URL and the title that was submitted, uh, used when it was submitted. So this is just going to go along and ping away, and that's what it's doing. Of course, if you want to stop the server, click the stop button, and it'll finish its current process, and it won't move on to any more uh, pending sites. Over here we have ping throttle, so you can uh, delay, delay the pinger by as many seconds as you want. Let's say you don't want to ping your URLs every five seconds, you want to ping them, let's say, every 500 seconds or 600 seconds which would be like 10 minutes uh, up to a thousand 
you can do that if you like or you can do a mass ultra ping uh, by unchecking that and that would well I don't recommend that but it would send out all the pings all at once which might overload the ping servers and get you banned <clears throat> so yeah no you can throttle out your your ping time to be uh, 60 seconds that's a ping every minute and and that's it that's all you gotta do so that's uh, that's ping servers and how the pinger works Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, we'll talk to you later. Bye.